All right, so you've finished your analysis and you've got this beautiful report and now you want to share it with somebody else. So um, there are a number of export formats that you can use for um, Markdown. As you can see, what well, we've been using the default one so far, which um, is HTML. But you can also um, export to PDF or Word um, using the little drop down. Um, so let's try that. So when you go up to the top here, this little piece of code at the top of your markdown is called the YAML. It's Y A M L, um, which I learned in some podcast a while ago stands for yet another markdown language. And all the settings of your document will appear here once you start to do fancy things in markdown. You can see the default output is HTML. You can just use the little pull down on your knit button to say you want to knit to Word. Let's see what it does when it knits to Word. All right, so it just opens a Word document. Um, I haven't done that very much. I'm sure there's ways that you can play around with the format of how these headings appear. But it's kind of nice that um, you can knit to Word, which is a format that your advisor or supervisor can likely read, um, <clears throat> but all your figures and the code that you run appears in the document. It's kind of nice. Now, knitting to PDF, I've had much more difficulty with. Let's see if it will work today. So knitting to PDF is more complicated because you need to have some LaTeX thing also installed. And sometimes my computer will do it and other times it won't. And today it's looking like it's having a I won't knit to PDF day. So LaTeX is a format that I don't know very much about. There's a package um, called Tiny Text um, that you can, when I've managed to make my computer um, knit to PDF, it's because I've successfully um, negotiated this Tiny Text thing. But knitting to PDF is a little more finickety, and there are lots and lots and lots of um, of blogs and help forums on the internet trying to solve the problem. So if you desperately need to knit to PDF, um, try this tiny text package to begin with. So you want to go tiny text and then library tiny text. Um, that sometimes on my computer fixes this problem, but you can see the error that we're getting here is all about la text. Um, oh, it could be. Oh, it could be specific to that tweet that I put in. See how it's saying here: Unicode character um, musical notes, which is in the document in this tweet. Um, maybe the musical notes don't appear in LaTeX, and so if I deleted this tweet, it might successfully um, lit, knit to PDF, possibly. Um, yeah, so the tiny text package is what you want to play around with if you need to um, desperately need a PDF document. All right, so what about if you want to share with other people? So um, there's this little button over the other side of the viewer here called Publish, which I learned about um, at um, Emmy Tanaka's Shiny workshop a, that we ran a while ago. Um, and there is a R Studio, um, R Pubs is a free service from R Studio that allows you to share documents on the web straight from your R Studio window. So it kind of creates a mini portfolio for you that if you don't have your own website or don't have GitHub or don't have some other online way of sharing your work, our pubs is a really easy way to um, get started with sharing your code and analysis in an open way.